luxury, let's look at some jewellery, if you've got a couple of thousand pounds to spare. The demand for precious stones has always been greater than the supply. For this reason, second-hand jewellery, some often hundreds of years old, is often bought to be broken down and then remade in contemporary styles. Paris has long been regarded as the centre of this fascinating trade, but in recent years, London designers like Joseph Kotrinsky have been setting new standards. Highly skilled craftsmen place the precious stones, diamonds, rubies, sapphires and emeralds into position. Working to a pattern, this worker shapes and moulds the gold and platinum settings. Polishing is all very well, but a problem which has faced all jewellers down the ages has been cleansing. Unless this is done thoroughly, the true brilliance of the stones is lost. But during the past few months, a machine based on completely new principles has come into use. In this tank of ammonia, sound waves gently batter every scrap of dirt away from the piece, leaving the jewels sparkling more than ever before. And here's lovely model Paula Hayworth, loaded with 8,000 pounds. Those earrings alone cost nearly 500 pounds. If you fancy that brooch, well, it will cost you 675 pounds. And the bracelet to go with it, practically 1,000 pounds. But here's just the thing for a really special present, the smallest watch in the world and the biggest price, just 3,650 pounds. If we can't afford to get blasé about jury, familiarity breeds contempt